So today we're here to put some pressure onto the Ministry of Health for more staffing, safer staffing. We are here for short staffing to highlight the issues of skill mix and security for patients and staff. You shouldn't be at the point where you've got nine full-time equivalent vacancies and having to cover that shortfall. Quite often you'll have nine subacute to acute patients by yourself, which is not safe. In the April-June quarter alone, we've had an 11.5% increase. Staffing and resourcing issues remain less than adequate to sustain this increase. Often the hospital is bedlocked, ED is full, the waiting room nurse could be looking after excessive workloads, up to 20 or more patients at a time to one nurse. If you have a patient that is having a stroke, if you have a patient that is having a heart attack, and if you have a patient with internal bleeding and then you have another patient with sepsis, how is one nurse supposed to take care of all of that at the same time? It's not safe. One of those patients does get missed. You should have every resource available to you to be able to do your job. We are asking that Bankstown Hospital employ a full-time ward assistant, equipment nurse, as well as technical assistance in our, in our ED. So we want management to actually meet their obligations under the award to fill the vacancies, to make sure that there is a reasonable workload in this ED. We need this fixed and we need it fixed now.